Have we ever stopped to ask why we work out so much? Some people seem to think that if they work out more, they'll get better at working out. And that's completely true. But we live in a society with grocery stores. We no longer need to be in any good physical condition. 90% of what we do is sit. I mean, our main export is the car, which we invented because we got tired of walking and horses poop. I mean, people don't go to work to get better at work. They go there for the money and the donut holes that Lindsay puts out in the morning. If that's the only thing that we get from working out, it's probably not worth all the effort it takes. Fortunately though, that's not the only thing that it gives us. It also tends to make people look better. Although any aesthetic benefit is gained only after working out. Because while you're working out, well, you kind of resemble the aftermath of someone who tried to bathe a bull with a blind cat. And here's a note from me to you because I care. Just because you paid a lot for your clothes does not mean they look good. And some of those exercising machines were simply invented so that the guy doing the dumbbells across the room could make fun of you. And some people say that it makes them feel better, which I find very odd coming from the people complaining about achy arms and legs. Well, the weirdest though is that some people seem to derive happiness from the activity. Those guys have obviously never had deep fried butter. I mean, neither have I, but I'm open to new experiences. But even if you work out, you're probably still lazy. You just feel better about watching eight seasons of some show off the cooking network because three of them you watched on the treadmill. Subscribe. Is that funny? I thought it might be, but you know, I wasn't sure.